Ladies and gentlemen, pay attention. 
history free of charge. in New Orleans and other areas. They were given to people for various reasons. It is believed that tribal groups came into existence in Nigeria during the colonial era when people were sold in, when people were sold into slavery for identification and capital. Tribal marks some cultures were also a symbol of wealth, royalty, and beauty. They were the hunters, otherwise called Eki, have a unique tribal mark that stands out from other cultures in Europe, in other cultures. Ladies and gentlemen, with pride in our hearts, let's share the undiluted story. The un let's share with you. The other little story behind, behind the famous Bandu tribal map. Ondo town was known to be victorious in every war they fought. It was also believed that war never exceeds the borders of Ondo town. And so they lived in peace and harmony. John, the great warlord of Ondo town, conquered many wars. The Ondo kingdom was revered by other kingdoms, and the people of Ondo were happy people. <laughs> Yeah. 
he couldn't differentiate the indigent from their enemies. For easy identification, Jomo instructed that pets, every Ondo indigent must have tribal marks.
So one day, the town people came together and created the problem or all calling it away. Thank you. And I'm, and I'm here to tell you about Bata. Bata dance style is a traditional dance peculiar to the Yoruba people of southwestern parts of Nigeria. But in historically, the, the dance is believed to be attributed Bata dance is an expressive art, not just with rhythm and movement, but about spiritual. In Bata dance, the gestures, steps, costumes, and symbols are special. Ladies and gentlemen, sit back, relax, and enjoy the Bata presentation. Thank you. 
you are causing an obstruction outside. Please, we need you to go repack your car. I'll take that again. APP 664 DY. I also have a Ford here, KJA 240 GB. KJA 240 GB. Please, I need you to go repack. You're causing a very serious obstruction outside there. All right, mommies and daddies, I'm taking you to the Intore, I hope that was right, the Intore Dance for Peace and Unity. We're going outside Nigeria. You've seen Abia State. You have seen Ondo tell you something. And the River State has not been left out. So the people of Rwanda would like to show you their dance for peace and unity. And this will be done by year three. Do not leave your hands on your laps. Give them a round of applause. Remember, it's free of charge. Ladies and gentlemen, year three for you.
Thank you very much, the good people of Uganda. I'd like to turn down the furniture again. You know, you're excited and you're having so much fun. So, before the next presentation, I'd like to invite the representative of the First Lady of Lagos State in person of Mrs. Ede Egube, the wife of the Honorable Commissioner for Economics, Planning and Budgets. Thank you very much, ma'am. Thank you very much. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, first lady, um, Dr. Moses, uh, sorry, we really have love to be here today. Um, but due to we are scheduled um, state functions. Um, she's unable to make it here today. So she's asking to represent her. Um, I'd like to acknowledge the few people before I go on. Um, the Honorable Commissioner for Tourism, Arts and Culture. She's not here present, but she's a very dear sister to me. This is Zamat, I can believe you um, Thank her for her leadership. Um, I'd like to also acknowledge um, the mother of the day, the High Chief Dr. Mrs. Kapila Mishika. Thank you so much, Ma. I know you're not here, but thank you very much for the leadership um, and all that you have done um, in educating our children. The Managing Director of Christmas School, this is very Kentana. Thank you very much for all you do for the children. Um, God bless you. Um, the Director of Administration, Zanike Oye, um, the Chairman of Education, who just left out with his speech was quite um, apt and to the point. Um, I, I recognize and thank him for being a part of this. Um, the Father of the Day, he also is in present. The Honorable Lupan, um, who holds Sege. Special guest is Yamisha Nade. Thank you for being part of this. Special guest of honor is Ms. Tony Abraham. Make sure she's available uh, to be here. Thank you also. All the special invited guests here present, all the parents here present, God bless you all, and teachers, all the teachers, all the, and the organizers, all the heads of the unit, gentlemen of the press, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I've been asked to turn around and do, so I'll do that. Um, without any doubt, um, languages, arts, and culture are three important elements with intrinsic values to human existence. As a matter of fact, they play very significant roles in the identity, values, and beliefs of people. So, language, as we know, is the medium through which we communicate with each other, advance all of our relationships. Um, and gender uh, community living together. And language and arts are the key components of culture which enhance the quality of life and increase overall well being for both individuals and communities. Therefore, we are indeed delighted to be a part of this landmark event organized by Christian School, Lucky, to bring together stakeholders in the education sector, including the people who have given us a very fantastic display here today. The teachers who tirelessly work uh, with our children, parents who have brought them forth, and policymakers, among others, to appreciate and also to discuss the importance of promoting culture, especially to the younger generation. Um, it can't be overemphasized as we strive to foster all round development in our children. Um, Specifically, we'll commend the management of Christmas School of this amazing initiative of paying due attention to all aspects of learning, 
it is critical to the overall learning outcomes for our children. Indeed, the job of raising our children in our society today is surely a heavy task. And I say this as a mother, and also a mother of two biological children and two adopted ones. As it has been readily observed, languages, arts, and culture contribute immensely to promoting peace and harmony, not only in our country, but globally. Thus, the theme of this celebration promoting the elegance of culture is fitting and appropriate to bring home the message to the pupils. Um, indeed, culture is elegant in its display, as we have seen here today. Um, the children looked culturally and beautifully adorned and have been, so to speak, mesmerized. Festival of dance, songs, plays, and display of cultural elements like food, clothes, artworks of Nigeria and other countries, as we've seen here today, including Rwanda, um, South Africa, Italy, and Romania. The Christian school is working towards deliberate appreciation of different cultures by the peoples, which will eventually be useful to them now and in the future. For me, I agree completely with the fact that our children must be made to understand our cultural heritage and tradition. Not only that, they must equally be made to appreciate other cultures so that they don't run the risk of indifference to the beliefs that are, that are dear to others. Um, a lot of our children do out of the country and sometimes um, they could face a culture shock. So these are ways we can prepare them for things like that. Charity, they say, certainly begins at home. For you to respect the cultural heritage of others, you must first appreciate yours. This is why we must initially and jealously hold, preserve and sustain our values, and most importantly, cascade the sense of younger generation who are our future ambassadors. Even as we mark this cultural day today, we need to seize this opportunity to urge our pupils to remain committed to their education, as education remains the bedrock of society and being the future leaders. Our children must be reminded continuously of the need to focus on their education and not to get carried away by the glitz and glamour that we see all around them. We must recognize the fact that they must recognize the fact that only a serious approach guarantees a glorious result. Therefore, in everything we do, they must be serious, focused, and committed to be the best they can be. So that way, we can stand out and make the positive impact in society. Finally, I want to again commend um, on behalf of the first lady of the Lagos Department, commend Chris Land for the initiative of the Lake Language, Art and Culture Day, and not just to sustain this important celebration in order to preserve Nagas cultural heritage and traditions, not only in Nigeria, our country, but beyond our shores. Incidentally, Chris Land is dear to me because my youngest sister is actually a student of the school. So it's a name that has been for me a household name. Um, so I join to congratulate your and to say I'm really delighted to have been a part of this very colorful event. Um, and so I say, God bless Lagos State, God bless Nigeria, God bless this school, long live culture. Thank you all, and God bless you. Thank you very much, Nat. Back to a dazzling presentation from our pupils. I would like to invite year five for their Italian Tarantala dance. So, mommies and daddies, ladies and gentlemen, I present year five Italian Tarantala dance. Thank you. Let's give up for them. Let's give it up for them. Let's give it up. Come on, let's celebrate year five.
e dá essas coisas. Hello, we are inviting you. What is the group all about? I'd like to come. What is it? Yes, we are dancers. And we're going to break your best out. We want to invite you for a dance competition. I hope you want to do it.
um, the Romanian dance from Romania done by a six. And but before that, I would um, like to invite one of our special guests in person, you know, Mr. Yemi Shuladi, for his great talk. Um, good afternoon, everyone. I'd like to stand up and establish the protocol. My name is Olai um, Mourouf, and I should like to authentically Nigerian names. And uh, that tells me that in my family, we respect culture. My children are here, none of them here. Foreign names, they are here. Before Olai, I'm not here. So I'm a man of culture. Uh, I'm going to say this to the parents, really. I do not subscribe to hypocrisy of any kind. What we term elegance of culture, we are promoting language, art, and culture with the day. But how much of this language, art, and culture do these children have in them, apart from what they have come here today? I don't think we would bring these children any service when they don't speak our languages at home. I'm sure most of us are guilty of this. Even the few um, dialects I am listening to here, especially the older ones, we are murdered. But I'm not talking to the children, I'm talking to the parents. Let us encourage our languages. We have some of the best languages anywhere in the world in Nigeria. Our culture, some of the best in the world. I've been a cultural advocate for about 45 years. I've been an actor since first time 77. I'm 62 years old. Yes. I'm taking my craft all over the world. Oh so when God. I say this, I mean it because I know it. Oh I'm married to a biracial woman. Oh but one of the things that fascinated me to her, the fact that I'm not your man. So please, let us begin from today to speak our languages to our children. God bless you all. And I want to say a very big thank you to the management and staff of Christmas School Lekki for having me here today. African Queen, I give you, I love my heart. Annie, it is here. God bless you, my sister. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, we need to invite their six for their Romanian dance. While your six is coming up, please, parents, we encourage you to get an exit for your children. For the safety and security of the pupils, we would not allow of the premises without an exit. Please get a class teacher. It's very important. We would not release the pupils without an exit. Know that it's for your safety and the security of those children. Thank you. Please do not forget the exit before leaving the premises. Ding! 
different countries and states here in Nigeria. All right, right about now, I'd like to invite the Managing Director of Christian Schools Limited in person of Mrs. Aiko Adeyemi. A round of applause, mommies and daddies. Let's celebrate the Managing Director. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I'd like to greet the chairman of today, Chief, Chief Onohua, represented by his wife, uh, special guests of honor, the Lagos State's first lady of Lagos State, uh, Mrs. Bijoke Sonu, represented by Mrs. Ikbe, uh, special guests, Mr. Lomis Choladi, Director of Administration, Mrs. Anika Oye, all special guests, uh, dear parents, heads of youth here present, um, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon to you all. Um, it's been a beautiful, beautiful day. I want to thank God, especially for the weather. When it was raining this morning, I was worried. But like um, her teacher said, it has turned out to good. So let's appreciate God Almighty. And let's also appreciate this wonderful children. I really don't know how to do it. We just finished the exams, um, was it last week or so? And um, yes, on Friday or so. And today they're having their language arts and culture too. And they've done so, so well. Let's appreciate them again. I have learned a lot. I'm ashamed to say that um, I'm from all those states. And I didn't really know the history of tribal maps. I mean, I can't imagine that I was quite embarrassed. But thank you, children, for educating me and so many other people here. So we just see the mark and we don't really know why it came to pass. But I think it's um, gradually going down. It's not an everyday thing anymore. But we thank God for that culture, that tradition. And we thank God that these children are 
you know, they are always excited on a day like this. It's not every day they learn about their culture, the culture of not just their own states or their own tribe, but other tribes and other countries. And uh, it's an exciting time for them. And I want to appreciate the parents for supporting them, for coming here and also, you know, motivating them. Parents, we appreciate you greatly. So at this lab, we always have the day set aside like this to celebrate cultures. There's so much weakness in Nigeria, in our culture. I think it's one of the best things that is going for this country. But it's just a pity that we cannot really harness ourselves together. But I think with this, when children that are not Igbo are speaking Igbo, like that um, Yoruba girl that was speaking, um, counting to whatever, I couldn't believe it. Honestly, let's just appreciate that wonderful girl. So she's not going to forget something like that in the morning. Another children too, they, online they might not wear um, a particular attire, but today they have the attire and I'm sure they're going to enjoy wearing it. And so at this time, we encourage our children to love each other, be respectful of your culture, know about each other's culture, know about each other's tribe, and of course, even other countries. We need to know about other countries in the world so that whenever we go there, whatever happens, we understand why they do some things and what they do. And uh, I want to appreciate the head teacher of Christian Fuleki at the time like this. Thank you, Mr. Sene. Well done. Good job to you and your team. Mr. Sene, well done. Supervisors, you've done a wonderful job. I know it's not easy, but you've done so, so well. Ladies and gentlemen, I won't take too much of your time because time is fast spent. But let's always, always encourage our children. I, I thank God, you know, when I was young, I don't know why my father didn't really speak to me, but it was, it was very bad. But I thank God that my mother existed. And so because of her, I can speak to you. So if your spouse is not encouraging your children, please take it upon yourselves, whether you are Igbo, wherever you're from, let your children speak the language and let them learn about other languages and other tribes. And I know they'll be better off for it. Thank you very much. Enjoy the rest of the day. Thank you. very much, Mrs. I O Adeyemi, Managing Director of Christmas. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the height of the presentation for today. You have seen it all. You have seen Rwanda, you have seen Benue, you have seen Abia, you have seen Romania, you have seen Italy. And ladies and gentlemen, I present to you, son of Africa, father of a nation, from South Africa. Over 1,000 years ago, Africa then went to south. The cast nation settled in the castles in the eastern part of what we now call South Africa. <laughs>
chief, Nelson Mandela studied law and became one of South Africa's first black lawyers. Early in the 1950s, he was elected leader for youth wings of the ANC Liberation Movement, African National Congress. When the country's white minority government prohibited ANC in 1960, Mandela became convinced that the armed struggle was inevitable. Inspired by the guerrilla wars in Algeria and Cuba, he organized an underground military movement that engaged in sabotage. We must fight and protect our nation from the white people. Have you, have you organized the underground military men? Yes, Mandela. Save the day. In 1962, he was arrested and sentenced to life imprisonment for high treason and conspiracy against the state. <laughs> Nelson Mandela, you are under arrest for conspiracy and high peace against your country. No, that is a false allegation. Arrest them all. We will fight. We will fight for peace. So Africa must be free. We will stop you.